All right, guys, we just made it to SFO. We have a four hour layover here. I didn't really vlog in San Diego because it's kind of hectic, but we have birthday celebrant right there. The rest of the family is behind me. We are gonna try to find either a lounge or a restaurant to eat at because we're all hungry. I'm also running on zero hours of sleep because we had to head to the airport around two this morning. And so we basically just stayed up all night. So I'm hoping for the 11 hour flight, I get some sleep because my bags are like crazy. But Starting to get excited. Still a long way to go, so we're gonna look for some food now. Okay, so they actually just opened a Centurion lounge here with Amex and Platinum members get access to that. So we're gonna take the whole family and uh, hang out, get some foods and liquor because we literally have four hours. So we figured I do have to pay $50 per person to get in with me, but at the same time, we're gonna go to a restaurant. You're gonna spend $30, $40 already per person with tax and tip, and then you don't even get to stay there. You don't get to lounge. It's not all you can eat. So I think it's definitely worth it. Plus it's my mom's 80th birthday, so. We're also gonna surprise her with a little sash that says 80th birthday Japan trip. <laughs> so let's go to the Centurion Lounge. All right, here we go. Centurion Lounge, take the elevator up. Oh. Mom, go? this is one of the best um, lounges in the world. Really? Yeah. According to who? <laughs> Centurion Lounge. <laughs> So there's the food. Let's go find a place to sit first. Yeah, yeah. Maybe over here. Oh, yeah. Over here. What's over here? Whoa. You look on that side? Yeah, go on the other side. All right, we're just looking for a place to sit, but this looks huge. Oh, there's like the lounge area. It's actually my first time in a Centurion lounge, so I'm kind of excited to check it out. It's huge. It's actually one of the biggest lounges I've been in. So. I'm gonna try this one. This one looks good. This is the egg salad sandwich toast. Try some sausage. Ooh. A nice crunch to it. Mmm, it's juicy. Yeah. 80th birthday Japan trip. <laughs> and then do the wave. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers! Cheers. We have Donnie over there napping. Alright, it has been nearly three hours and we're heading to the gate. And low-key, I'm a little bit lit. I only had two drinks, but lack of sleep, didn't eat much, so. Mom, we're going to Japan! Japan, here we Happy go! Happy 80th birthday! Thank you! You want a white mom? <laughs> Alright, we'll see you Tokyo in 11 hours. My uh, concoction of whiskey and work. I got a good five hours sleep on the plane. I usually don't sleep on planes, so. Welcome to Japan, mom. <laughs> She's so embarrassed. <laughs> mom, just leave it on. We just got to our hotel. We're in the heart of Shinjuku. This is Hotel Gracery. We made it. It's raining, it's humid, it's hot, but we're gonna embrace it. So I think we're gonna meet with the family right now and then grab some food, freshen up first though, get situated. Got our cool luggage right here, level eight. What's up? It's the Godzilla Hotel. Jordan, Noah, what's up? <laughs> Reunited. How was you guys tonight? 
Hey, hey, Good. Hey, Noah, what's, what's up, dude? Hey, hey, bye. How are you, man? I'm tired. How are you guys? Are you tired? I'm tired. Grayson, what's up? Hello. Hey, welcome to Japan. Welcome to Japan. Maxi, say welcome to Japan. Welcome to Japan. Oh my god, finally made it to our hotel after what feels like 24 hours of travel. We had basically an early flight in San Diego, a layover in SF for four hours, and then an 11 hour flight to Tokyo. But we're here and we're in our room. And here it is, quick tour. Boom. Bed, mini living room, and then a hallway and the bathroom was over there. But I feel like the view looks cool. Let me show you guys the view. Why did I say I feel like the view is cool? But the view is amazing. Let me see, show you guys real quick. All right. Hello, Tokyo. We've made it. What is up? Oh my God, I'm so tired, but I'm ready to go eat. Have a Asahi or Sapporo or Kirin or what, else, what other Japanese beer is there? Oh my God, I'm so excited to be here. Babe, it's your first time traveling in... Oh, six years. Oh, six, four years. Four years. Oh my god, but we're here. Let me show you guys the bathroom real quick, just in case you are interested in this hotel. Japan is known for their bidets to wash your little booty hole, but it's actually a pretty nice size. Got a tub here, shower. Okay, we're gonna freshen up and then go grab some food. Got my raincoat here in case it rains. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's Disney. Let me uh, put you guys right here. You see Disney? <laughs> supposed to rain in like an hour or so thinking of bringing this just in case all right we're heading to 7-eleven grab some cash and then we're gonna head out to like the alleyways to find some yakitori <laughs> the infamous 7-Eleven. They have the the egg salad sandwiches are supposed to be bomb here. Whoa. Why does that all look so good? Should we try one right now? These are bomb too. Oh my god, these are so good. We're gonna try this. I don't know, but we're gonna try this egg okay. salad sandwich. Go. We'll just do it tomorrow, yeah. Hmm. Oh, that's bomb. Perfect. Good job, everybody. 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 Good where to next? So, first impression of Tokyo. Apparently, we're in the area that's a little bit more crazy nightlife. We're in Shinjuku right now, but I love it. This is like, the more chaotic, the better for me. There's a cool 3D billboard set up. Um, I think we'll pass by it. Doesn't it feel good to be in another country? Another one, damn it. Weird. It's weird, huh? Yeah. It feels so familiar and fun, though. I, I feel so energized. <laughs> right back up. Oh, yeah. First time in Asia? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Philippines. Oh, you went to Philippines. Philippines. Okay. Yeah, yeah. This is nothing, man. <laughs> Same. <laughs> All right, so this is like an example of an alleyway where you just have a bunch of little yakitori restaurants left and right. You just kind of go in, sit down. Oh, it smells so good. Look how freaking amazing that is. It smells good, huh, mom? Mm -hmm. I'm literally in heaven right now. So wait, you said a car was trying to drive by here? Uh, taxi. Oh, a taxi? Wait, what the heck? I'm like gonna, literally I'm in sensory overload right now. And it's also kind of hard when you're with your whole family, like there's 12 of us, so I just want to stop and take a picture, but obviously we're just, we gotta keep going. So I already know I want to come back here with just me and Donnie at some point and explore.
first beer in Japan. Cheers. My body knows when I leave. My body oh, turns off. Yeah. So refreshing. So I know it's gonna be kind of Oh, that feels so good. <laughs> Mom can't use chopsticks, so just, just keep those. <laughs> <laughs> and then are we doing that another time where we have to like set our luggage ahead of time? I need to ask if our Osaka hotel mm. can order. Where's Jesse? Oh. <laughs> now we're in the hunt for some sushi. We're trying to go to this really good sushi spot and they have like $2 Otoro and Otoro is my freaking favorite so I'm really excited for that. So we were just in the Shinjuku train station but they have just like this underground market sort of world down here and so kind of cool because they have all these stores and shops and stuff but you can still get to your train station or your train that you need to go to so very cool. The systems are crazy but we made it. That should be good yeah. Honestly, just had some of the best sushi I've ever had in my life. And for all that sushi and two beers, guess how much it cost? All of that, with the Otoro and all, two beers, $28. I'm gonna show you guys a spot. Standing sushi in the Shinjuku station. So good. All right guys, we're heading back to the hotel now. That's where we're staying, hotel. Gracery, but you can see Godzilla's head up there. Hey guys, good morning. This is day two for Tokyo. The plan for today is we're going to head over to the fish market and then we have some lunch plans with the family and then we're going to go to the Shibuya area to do the Shibuya crossing and then tonight we're also going to check out Shibuya Sky which I think takes you up so you can get an aerial view of Shibuya. So outfit check. We got a button down right here, shorts and my North Face slip-ons. All right, let's head out. All right, we are at Lawson's, which is basically kind of like 7-Eleven, so we're picking up another egg salad sandwiches. These are so good. Just so, like, classic and clean tasting. All right, we're back with the uh, egg salad sandwich. Easy, quick, uh, simple breakfast. We eat it with what? My brother says to get this and a fried chicken cut with it. We'll try that tomorrow. <laughs> so we ended up getting an Uber because... The subways are pretty uh, jam-packed here, hot, a lot of stairs, so the moms are going to have a hard time doing the subway, so we decided to do Uber to the fish market, and I got the Uber premiere. Uber. Happy Look. birthday, Mom. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. We're going to the fish market. Yeah. The peasants are taking the subway. We're over here in our Uber. <laughs> Look at the family. <laughs> Everything smells so good here. All the fresh produce looks amazing. All right, we're trying some A5 Wagyu right here at this stall. It's actually getting really hot too. Been good? <laughs> Feels good. Feels good. Mm. A5 Wagyu. Yummy. <laughs> oh my God, mess in your mouth. They got the cheers. Mm. 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 Mm.
Mm. Let me try that one. Mm. I have to put the whole thing in my mouth? I would. <laughs> it won't fit. <laughs> Go ahead, do it. <laughs> It's like sweet, but then like the freshness of the fresh yeah. strawberry. All right guys, we are now headed over to Shibuya area. We have um, a reservation for Shibuya Sky at like 8.40, but it's about 4.30 right now, but we're just gonna go in the area, check it out a bit. Look at that panda. All right, now we're in Shibuya, guys. It looks the same. <laughs> Nintendo Tokyo. Whoa, we made it. So we're gonna go up there, all the way up there to Shibuya Sky so you can get like a huge aerial view of the crossing. I just need to feel like we're moving, huh? No. Whoa. All right, so now we're at Shibuya Sky. Just FYI though, if you guys come here, you do need a, a lanyard over your camera or else they'll loan you one, just for security reasons. So just make sure you have a neck strap for your camera. <laughs> you scared, mom? We're gonna go up here. Okay, ma, look over here, ma. Ma, look, just look here. <laughs> here you go. <laughs> You're scaring me. <laughs> With a light show, this way. We're in Shibuya Sky. So cool. Come on. My mom's a trooper. She took the subway from where were we? Shibuya, back to Shinjuku. Look at that. <laughs> Say hi, everyone. All right, we are back at the hotel, and what a freaking day. Tokyo is tiring, huh? I mean, just to get from one area to the other can be taxing, so just be prepared if you're in Tokyo. I guess the area we're staying maybe, maybe there's like calmer areas, but over here in Shinjuku, it's a little crazy. At the end of our trip, we are coming back to Tokyo for I think three days and we're staying in an area called Rapungi, which I think is a little bit more calmer. So that'll be nice, especially for my mom. Shinjuku is not a place I would say for elderly by any means, just so much walking, a lot of people and like, I don't know, she was even just getting like hit when she was just walking and I was like, that's kind of rude. Like you seen elderly with you? I don't know. I, I, I was put off by that, but anyways, we didn't really eat dinner, but we just picked up 
some egg salad sandwiches again, but this time we got some chicken, spicy chicken that we're gonna throw in there. I also got a couple noodles, but I don't think I'm gonna eat this today. But tomorrow, we're heading out on an all day tour to Mount Fuji, but it's gonna be more like a drive and stop along a scenic route situation, so it would be better for my mom. She's been walking a lot and she's getting pretty tired, I could tell. How'd you put the chicken in here? You just threw oh, it in? Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna throw the chicken in here. And after that, we are actually heading on the bullet train to Osaka, so Shibuya area was cool. Cleaner there, well, definitely a lot more stores to shop at. Like, Shinjuku's fun. I think if you're with your friends versus your family, it's fun because, like, you can party. Like, we're home by 10. <laughs> Fish market was cool too, but it is more on the touristy side. I think I still think if you're here, it's worth a visit. What else did we do today? Is that it? Oh, I forgot. We also went to Shibuya Crossing and Shibuya Sky. So Shibuya Crossing, pretty cool. I wasn't sure if we were going there or not, so I didn't bring my Insta360 <laughs> X4. So when we come back to Tokyo at the end of the trip, I'll probably go back there and do it because I feel like that'd be a really cool clip to take. But Shibuya Sky, Highly recommend that for sure. Like this, views there are amazing. We went at night. I'm interested to see if it would be nice during daytime too. But the thing is, when you get tickets, they sell out really quick. My sister-in-law was trying to get us like the sunset hour tickets, but when they open up, they go quick. So we ended up with an 8:40 p.m., which was still nice because you can see all the lights. You see uh, Tokyo Tower from up there. Really pretty, actually. We need the other one. Highly recommend should be a sky. Also, last thing I'll say, I was picturing in my head this vlog to be, have like cinematic moments. I watched a ton of Tokyo vlogs before coming here just, you know, to get inspired and stuff. A lot of them were like cool shots, cinematic, but I'm like, how are they doing that? It's so chaotic. I don't know. Maybe too, because I'm with my family. There's like 12 of us and we're constantly trying to see where everyone is, make sure the kids are okay and yeah. So this is going to be just more like a vlog, chill vlog style versus like storytelling or cinematic footage. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Okay, for real. See you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. It's day three in Tokyo. It's crazy. It feels like it's already been a week, but it's only been day three, technically two and a half because we came in at like 4 p.m. But anyways, we're going to head to our Fuji, Mount Fuji day tour today. It's basically just like a private tour. We rented our own driver and van. We're just going to take a few stops along the way for scenic pictures. There's also, I think, like a town, a lake we're visiting. Excited to see Mount Fuji. Hopefully we see it because... Sometimes they say Mount Fuji likes to hide because it's gloomy and it is a gloomy day today, but we are driving two and a half hours out. So hopefully the weather maybe changes or clears up by then. So hopefully crossing fingers that happens that way we can see Mount Fuji. Yeah, that's the plan for today. I'll take you guys along and we'll just see what this adventure brings. So let's head out. We actually have to drop off our luggage. Our luggage is going straight to Osaka and then tomorrow we're taking the bullet train to Osaka. So. We gotta take care of all that right now. And the reason we're doing the luggage transfer is because my mom, as well as my sister-in-law's mom, older, hard for them to go in public transit. And so to try to bring their luggage with them would be a nightmare. So that's why we're doing that. But anyways, let's head out to Mount Fuji. All right, guys, we are in a first stop at our Mount Fuji tour. I think this is kind of just like a rest stop. Bathroom break. Actually, really good fruit here. That looks good, huh? Yeah. Little cute market. Um, so we have 30 minutes to just kind of poke around and see. Ooh, my allergies are crazy though. On the way here, we're driving by Mount Fuji. Looks so pretty. We got some fish food. Got some koi over here. Beautiful pond. And then there's Mount Fuji right there. All right, guys. We're gonna start our little track. It's really easy. <laughs> Let me show you guys the other side though. Max, what's up, dude? Okay, let's go. Come on. We're going to see the temple. Let's go. All right, Whew. I thought that first set of stairs we took was the stairs, but 
Apparently not. Whew. Getting our steps in though. Good. It's actually sweet. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it's a lot better here. All right here's our feast. We got some karage, some chicken pork cutlet, shrimp, smelts, more pork cutlet, rice pilaf, 